This is Velimarkovich Castle. A castle? Absolutely essential that these buildings are preserved. It's like something out of the 1800s. And that makes it quite bleak and poignant, doesn't it? Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday and also welcome to Vrenjačka Banja. Yes, I finally made it to Central Serbia's famous spa town, very similar to Zlatibor and I just realised I've got a mouth ulcer so speaking in this video is going to be a nightmare. It's very touristy I must say, which is probably the reason I had it on my list for last year and didn't come. But you know what, let's take it with a pinch of salt and see what it's like. Right, let's go down here. Look at this, this is pretty isn't it? Flowers galore. I've just spent a little while walking around getting different shots and drone shots and everything. As you can see now, isn't it spectacular? Colourful, lots of flowers, trees, greenery everywhere, fountains, people going about their Sunday having a nice leisurely day and a relax in Vrenes Cabana. Oh look, there's someone getting married behind me. Congratulations. Um, so I'm here for two nights, not because I've got jaundice or an infection in my gallbladder or duodenum. Yes, it's one of those spa towns, wellness centres, a bit like Zlatibor, you know, of Jalabania. Um, all those places where you can come to if you have a particular health issue or gripe that you need to resolve. I haven't got one of them yet, except the ulcer. So here we've got the little kiosk up there, as I said, and here we've got this. You could say this is an example of tacky tourism, but you know what? It's a bit of fun, isn't it? If you want to put your head in there and be a knight or whatever, happy days. And I love this building. Look, it's like a flying saucer on the top. After all this time in Serbia, I walk up to this and I'm like, oh great, reading practice. Then I'm like, brilliant. Oh, it takes a while. Um, th I think this is like a Roman rehabilitation place with a bit of brutalism thrown in. That is amazing. I love the clock as well. Top tier elite, which brings me on nicely actually to the next point. Nice pretty fountain, isn't that nice? And you've also got like various statues of numerous people, musicians, poets I think, I can't remember, and busts as well on the, on the other side. And this long bit down here with flowers everywhere and people walking about. So speaking of Romans, I remember that word from Chachak, I think it was, with the Roman bath, baths. Um, down here, like it's a bike path thing and there's these little like crown carriage things that go down here again i would say that's a little bit tacky but you know if you like that sort of thing that's fantastic there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> so as always we have an absolute overload of history in serbia because yeah this was used as a spa town by the romans obviously in roman times a long time ago right and you'll see a lot of things around here including villas and things like that which we'll check out in a bit i believe there were archaeological finds as well in the region from that time those times oh there's a van coming see that's not a tacky crown carriage is it well this is the polar opposite of the last video with brutalist belgrade isn't it look up there it definitely has that kind of roman bath feel with the little statues and the design on the buildings and of course as you would expect here just like in slatterboard also it has a little feel of nesme Holova in belgrade with you know all the restaurants the hotels i do like these little cafes and bistros very cute aren't they very nice fountain here lovely with the Vrenjac Cabana sign up the top spa town life eh cafe theater it's very posh isn't it oh it is like an actual theatre. I am shocked. It's a bit like in Greece, you know. Well, anywhere with Roman amphitheatres. Or somewhere in Macedonia I went. I think it was in Skopje, Orid, I can't remember. As you can see ahead of me, and as you've seen in the drone shots already, understandably there is construction here. There's a huge crane up there. 
I know many of you said after the Zlatibor video you were unhappy about how Zlatibor is now. Is it the same with Vlenishka Banya in terms of your feelings about the development? On the other hand, we do have a lovely building here to the left, which is ah, Villa Gogo, 1911. Now this is my kind of thing. Looks like an old haunted house, doesn't it? From what I can gather, which means it's probably wrong, this was like a doctor's house in 1905. Dr. Josip Bidakovic. That building is closed. There's a sign on the front with a camera thing, so I can't go in. But what do you think? These buildings, I think, despite the construction development here, it's absolutely essential that these buildings are preserved, just like anywhere. Look at it. It looks amazing, doesn't it? There's the temple behind that amphitheatre I couldn't be bothered to go to, but I want to check out some more of these villas. Okay, this villa down this hill, I think it's Villa Avala. Yes, was one I was looking at earlier. It does look like something that you would see in like Little House on the Prairie or something, you know, or the Waltons, some American thing back in the day with like this, you know, balcony area. And down here as well, this... What would you call it? Veranda? Or is that up the top? You know what I mean. Like where the old ladies would sit on a rocking chair. And these kind of dilapidated, rusty railings here. It really takes you back in time, you know. I love these post boxes. You see them all over Serbia. This beautiful angel is Gojko. The regional bird. It's a sparrow. And it's meant to look like it's wearing clothing indicative of local folk dancing and apparently it's a good photo opportunity. Just past Gorchko, down this way, is the obligatory Bridge of Love. I don't mean obligatory in a negative way, but you know, <laughs> you do see these a lot, don't you? It reminds me of Paris, you know. There's quite a lot here. Roman Well, Spa Centre, that's where we were before with that really cool architecture. There's like a church over here with lots of flowers and statues and things. These villas are my new favourite thing. I mean, I know I have a new favourite thing every week, but you know, that's not the point. Look at the shutters and look at the paintwork. The level of dereliction on the facade. Is dereliction a word? I sound like the queen. I mean, the king. Villa Splendor. It is rather splendid, isn't it? Yes, I should do my royal accent all the time. I wish those motorbikes would shut up. Holy gosh, perhaps we should now go to the right. I think there are some more. Oh, it's a fluffy angel. Come hither, Sir Pussington. Meow. Hello. <laughs> oh, maybe not. This beauty is Belimarkovic Castle. A castle? You having a laugh? It was built in the late 1800s. Again, similar to that last one. I believe it housed a doctor, like a health spa doctor person. But look at that. Big columns, these stairways at the front. And you can go inside, but not today, because it's Sunday. Um, yeah, weekdays, seven till nine. Saturday, eight till two. Um, as per usual, I'm here on a Sunday. But I can go up the steps. It's very elite, isn't it? You could just imagine, like, pre-war maybe, like people coming here that have got a little bit of money for their health spa treatment, coming to this place, you know, walking along here. I'm picturing like people who were on the Titanic with their little umbrellas and things like that, you know, having their treatment and everything. Um, it's all very nice, isn't it? I'm painting a picture for you. I promise I will stop the regal accent in a moment. But it does feel like I'm at some sort of palace. You know, walking down from seeing the local aristocrats or whatever. Right, I'll go back to my regular accent now. Jesus, it's really hard to do that for a prolonged period. <laughs> so just like an episode of Friends, we've had the one with the monasteries, we've had the one with the bats. Now this is the one with the villas, apparently. Nice, right, we've got a lot of walking to do now. I'm gonna come back to the town a little bit later. I am staying here the night, so I'm in no rush today. Just at this sign, look who I've met. It's another praying mantis. In Pozhiga, when I was eating the Pliskovica, remember? The praying mantis came to join me.
my ulcer's hurting, so annoying. Anyway, this bit is one of the mundane moments I don't normally include in a video. I'm like walking towards my next spot. I just picked up a drink from this local shop. You know, one of the ones with the little fridges with the drinks in outside the front. It's a place called Rajinci, and it's just like small town, countryside Serbia, you know, logs everywhere. There's a woman washing their car over there. Um, guy with logs in a wheelbarrow with all these nice houses everywhere and the smell of wood being chopped everywhere classic Serbia sometimes it's just the regular boring things going on that are quite fascinating there's a lady mowing her lawn with the lawnmower and the house over here there's three older ladies well two of them are men um, just doing whatever mushrooms toadstools fungi hello angel Watch out, there's cars coming. If I was a sexy YouTuber, I could be like, the Serbia that no one sees. Um, well, clearly the people that live here see it. We're going to a place called Stulac, and then on to our final destination. I just thought I'd investigate these crops and my foot fell down like three feet. But look, cornfields. The cornfields of Serbia. Maize. I don't think I've ever seen like corn husks, like in a cornfield. It's like tamales in Mexico. I never thought I'd find a cornfield so fascinating. Look. Double look. Sheep. Look at that. This little dilapidated farmyard building with a little hut next to it as well. The windows are all falling apart. There's no one around. There's very sort of deep, long grass to clamber through. There's that hut thing there. Yeah, clearly no one's around. So I don't need to whisper. But through the window back there, I could see a picture on the wall of like two people. I tried this rather old door handle. It's definitely locked. I can see like a yellow cloth, cloth a lot of twigs. There are mattresses and stuff. Oh, this is better. This is amazing. I wonder how old this is. Look at that. Like cabinet kitchen thing, dresser over there. You've got pictures on the wall, black and white. It's like something from like before World War II or during. Or something with all the garden implements farming implements up there like rakes and things you've got this old rag what was a curtain spiders webs and everything an old wooden door here that was incredible there were stinging nettles and everything and I've been bitten by loads of things but whatever um, the pictures on the wall in there Kind of reminded me of what my mum showed me of like my great grandparents on the Polish side, you know, like early 1900s kind of era. Same sort of look, you know, same sort of pose in the picture. I'd be curious to know more about that. Like, I know it's probably a long shot, but if you do know a bit about that abandoned farm building, let me know in the comments. These sheep appear to be just as flabbergasted as I am at what we just saw. This is what YouTube videos are really like. Like just constantly walking. <laughs> Eventually you reach your destination. Ah. Oh, chicken. Look, it's another abandoned farm-like building. This walk from Vrenic Gabania to where I'm going has been fascinating, eye-opening and actually a trip through the space-time continuum because in so many ways you see this way of farming which looks old but is still very much in operation with these old style tractors and houses with chickens and smoke rising and people chopping logs as well as the modern aspect of a lot of the houses around here such as the ones behind me. And to top it all off, we have a Yugo. Okay, I've walked all the way down this main road. 
checked out an orange Zastava on the street and I'm heading to Popina Memorial Park. You can see it up there. It's a spominic. Ah, it was finished one year before I was born, 1981. So it's 41 years old and it's up this hill. The view is starting to appear. A lot of flies everywhere and droppings, I think from rams. There are some rams down there. Almost there. There's a fly on the camera, get off. Um, I was thinking when I die, if I decide to have a gravestone, it should say something on it like, to get to something good, you have to climb a hill, which pretty much sums up 500 videos I've done over the last six years. Flies, bugger off. Blimmin' heck. Look at that beast. It certainly didn't look this big in the pictures. It is a true Goliath in terms of a spominic. You've got this huge circle through the middle of this prism. Is that the word? And you've got these circular bits here and also through the other side as well. Look at it. Got mosquitoes attacking me as well. Clearly I'm quite juicy today. Listen to that echoing. That's amazing. I've never known an echo like that in my life. <laughs> Jesus. Right, over here, I believe there's a plaque on this concrete block. Here, on October the 13th, 1941, defending the borders of the Republic of Ujice, the Vranachko Trestanici detachment fought fiercely with German columns that were five times stronger. Right, it's just starting to rain a little bit and I'm kind of covered in blood a little bit from all these mosquitoes. Thanks a lot. Um, Anyway, this Spomnik, it very much reminds of the one in Kadanyacha, not far from Ujitse on the way to Bainabashta, because the story of it, in terms of what it says on this plaque, and I guess it would be the same with all of them, is around the fact that the Nazi army was considerably stronger than the partisans, and those partisans very much knew they were going to their death, and that makes it quite bleak and poignant, doesn't it? Um, and I think the location here is just, you know, it's so apt for the meaning behind it. You know, there was that one in Zlatibor and I'm very much comparing with that one. Oh, there are other people coming now. Um, there was a restaurant next to that one in Zlatibor. This one, there's nothing. It's in the middle of nowhere and that's exactly what a memorial park should be. We shouldn't be profiting from the death of hundreds of people, you know, thousands, whatever. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go back now. I'll see you back in Vrenish Gabanya. It's a long walk. <laughs> I'm sure I'll make it. I'd be glad to get away from the mosquitoes. Right. Right, hi everyone. Clearly this is not Vrenish Cabana. I'm back in Ujitse a few days later. Honestly, by the time I got back, had some food and then got back to my Airbnb, I fell asleep. Sorry. Anyway, um, apologies, I look like an absolute wreck at the moment. Since I got back, I've been sick as a dog. I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Ah! Anyway, in regards to Danish Cabana, honestly, when I first got there, I was like, oh my God, this is a touristy place. This is not my kind of place whatsoever. There's a love bridge. <laughs> um, but I have to put myself in the position of maybe a young couple from Belgrade who work very hard and want to get away for the weekend to have a relax, to go to some nice restaurants, to ride around in a Cinderella carriage. Brilliant. It's that kind of place, you know, if that's your sort of thing and that's what you want, wonderful. Um, also, the thing for me, really, as you've probably seen in this video, that walk through the farmland, as I've said many times in Serbia before, that is the best thing to do in Serbia. Just walk through the countryside, walk through the farmland and just look around and explore and see what you can find. And that's the sort of thing that does fascinate me. And then, of course, the amazing monument. One of the most amazing things about Serbia is the memorial aspect in terms of war you know um it's a real eye opener and it can really make you reflect on things so on that note 
The next two videos are going to be from somewhere very close to Vdenich Gabanya. Let's just say there's going to be a church which is the location of coronations of Serbian kings. If you know Serbia, you'll know where I'm talking about. Also, I'm hoping we're going to go to another fortress, not the one in Užice, another one, which is close to that location. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up with the rest of my series. I can't do this anymore. Um, and I'll see you next time. We're going very regal, hopefully. Catch you later.